the movie, I mean, you can praise it for a many number of things, but it, it, maybe not so much for the quality of the film itself. It is very much a B-movie. It, it, it looks and feels like a B-movie, like it should, uh, which is part of the appeal. I, I mean, that is what I think ultimately is so good about this movie, because you know you're watching this kind of cheesy drive-in movie, but then it takes you off guard with the quality of the story itself, with the quality of Romero's and, and Russo's uh, writing. What's really intriguing about this movie is the human drama. Because, really, I, I mean, you stick a bunch of people uh, in this circumstance, see what they're going to do to survive, see how they conflict, and I think the movie is absolutely genuine uh, in, in what it shows. Like, I actually, you can believe that what's going on here uh, in this movie could happen in this type of circumstance. So it is a survival film, which I really like, uh, and I like the dynamics between the people. The acting isn't, you know, Oscar worthy or anything like that, but I think they, they play into the drama well, which is what makes the movie work. And added to the fact that, yeah, the zombies are actually pretty scary, it's pretty spooky, and, and that's what kind of even makes it spookier, because it looks a, a little cheaper and older, it, it, it kind of makes it a little scarier. Like When it finally gets right down to it, the ending, which, just in case you haven't seen it, I'm not going to give away, but it's, it's actually kind of a devastating ending, uh, where you're just left with this you know, cold chill on your spine. So it's really effective how you know, you think you're just watching any number of drive-in movie, it takes you off guard, and it, it brings you into this drama, and, and you feel like this is actually happening. So this is a great movie to like watch, like, late at night, all the lights off. It still works today. It really legitimately still works. This is a perfect Halloween movie, I think.